The single greatest ingredient you can ever make in your kitchen is perfect chicken stock. Stock that sits in a pot like that, no muss, no fuss, and when it emerges 36 hours later, golden consomme. You wanna know how to do it? Stick around. I'm not sure that there's a cook or a chef worth the apron they put on that doesn't use homemade stocks. I have some water here in my slow cooker. This is one of my favorites. You can go to your temperature setting and using these arrows, you can punch up and down and you can actually set it to a specific temperature. We just load our ingredients and put the lid on and set it aside for 24 hours. Uh, bay leaf, a couple of cloves. I have three, believe it or not, you can taste the difference. Two teaspoons or so of black peppercorns, two garlic cloves, some onion some carrot, some celery, some parsley. Give it a little tear with your hand. Leeks, I love leeks, my favorite allium. Next thing that we wanna do, these are carcasses, you've heard me say it a thousand times on AZ Cooks, save your carcasses for when you're breaking down whole chickens. I just roasted these in the oven. If you're using one of these cookers, chop your bones. You're gonna have more room in there. We're gonna also add some raw frames. Got some dark quarters and drumettes. I've got a whole bunch of wing tips that I'm gonna throw in there. I like using those here because they're smaller, but they have lots of flavor and lots of fat. So I'm using a combination of old chicken carcasses that I defrosted and roasted in the oven and fresh chicken carcasses from chickens that I've recently trimmed. All right, so now that this is loaded up, I'm just gonna fill it with cold water. Lid. I always sort of peek this out and I'll keep topping it off with water because I wanna make as much stock as I can. After about six or eight hours at 200 degrees, those bones are gonna start to collapse and get soft. What I wanna do is make sure to push those bones down. We set it, now we forget it, but put a post-it note and make sure you remember it. 36 hours later. Nothing like the smell of beautiful, roasty chicken stock. Because it never boiled, it was just held at 200 degrees for 36 hours. It was like steeping chicken tea. And I just move this aside, it's clear. Now we're basically gonna pour consomme right out of here. And very slowly, look at how clear that stock is that's pouring out of there. The minute you pour it, it's gonna cloud up ever so slightly because it's the first time that the fat, which rises to the top, has actually mixed with the broth. But when was the last time you made a stock that rich? You can use this to make soups and stews that have real incredible flavor to it. The poultry aroma on there is insane. All the impurities are out and we have this gorgeous golden elixir this is gonna change your food game in your kitchen.